Hey guys, what's up? Kalen here and I am super hyped to be bringing this video to you guys because it is going to be the first of many videos on the new level of promo that EA have just dropped today. So basically how it works, you buy the card off the transfer market or packet or wherever you get the card and there are specific objectives that you would complete for each of those cards if you already have them to get the leveled up version of that card. So we went ahead and bought the 94 rated Edinson Cavani level up card ended up completing the objective all you have to do is score a goal with Cavani from outside the box in five separate games with three Uruguayan players in your team minimum three Uruguayan players so anyway this is how the card looks it's six foot one tall high high work rates right foot two with five star skills which does make the card quite fun and it does have a four star weak foot now heading on to the player details you can start a striker and center forward it's got Valencia and you're going links but this card basically works the same as how premium shapeshifters work you can just put him in the team and he will have full chemistry now looking at the attribute details i think i'm gonna improve maybe the dribbling on the card according to footpin the best camp style to give him is the marksman camp style so i think i'm gonna try that out if i feel as though he's a little sluggish on the ball and needs more acceleration i'll switch it up and give him maybe the hawk or the engine camp style depending on how he's shooting and his dribbling he's got the finesse shot trace and the outside foot shot trace along with the flare trace and the power header trace so as i said putting him in the team you can just put him in any team he will have full chemistry but i've gone for the marksman cam style as you can see maxes out the finishing shot power long shots penalties reactions ball control and dribbling and it does boost the jumping up well also to 99 and the strength up to 98 so this is the team i've got him in and without further ado let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with premium 96 rated level up Edinson Cavani. So straight off the bat here we start off with an Edinson Cavani goal. Cut that ball back to George Best. I try to knock it onto Cavani it somehow pops up for him and the snapshot on the left foot is into the back of the net. Great finish not complaining very good goal but hopefully there will be cleaner and better goals to come. Speaking of goals though this goal coming from a ridiculous pass from Cavani floats that over to George Best spectacularly and the finish after some good control is pretty good and we do end up getting like i said the first assist of this video with cavani now this guy's absolutely destroying us at 7-2 but i still want to try and get a good goal with cavani in this game great speed goes for the power shot and he smashes that against the crossbar very very unlucky that would have been an absolutely insane goal but anyway moving on to the second match good header from cavani just showcasing the aerial ability on the card wins the header and unfortunately we hit the post in back-to-back -back clips but good skill following a good run into space but unfortunately we end up hitting the post like i just said but here are we going to end up hitting the post no we are not great finish from cavani outside the box power shot you guys can physically see the curve on that from that angle as well just to make sure that the ball ended up in the back of the net great finish from cavani and here he bends his run spectacularly to stay on side the finish is beautiful but again, it's going to bring your attention to the run. He was offside. He pulls his run back, remains onside, and then he's able to get the pass. And he does end up scoring very intelligent run made from Cavani there. Speaking of intelligent runs made, Loris has a chair. And once more, Cavani is already making the run. Loris plays in through on goal. Outside foot shot trade comes up clutch. Simple enough finish for Cavani. And we do get a hat trick and we do end up making a comeback in this game. But that was pretty much it for clips in that game. So heading into the third match of this video, showcasing more of the dribbling ability on this Edison Cavani card. Of course, he does have five star skills. Haven't really utilized it yet, but utilizing it right now. Elastico, fake shot to get it back onto the left foot because obviously the angle was closed off for any type of shot on the right foot. So I decided to get it back on the left. And again, the snapshot into the near post finds the back of the net moving on to the next clip it's 85 minutes on the clock perfect pass from Cavani Martinelli is through and he does end up scoring to get us an equalizer so that we can take this game into extra time and maybe end up winning it and that's exactly what I'm going to try and do right now Alexander Arnold plays it through Martinelli is in on goal Cavani keeps up with him brilliant dribbling once more and he finds the back of the net yet again a couple of step overs to get past his man and 102 minutes on the clock is able to just sneak that shot past the goalkeeper and we do end up winning that game heading on to the last match of this video and what i think is the best clips of this video in general Cavani with some good interplay between his other two teammates up top 
Great skill. Ball rolls it around the goalkeeper and on the left foot. He tucks it away once more. I won't lie, that left foot is feeling a lot like a five-star weak foot because he pretty much scores everything on it. But here again, a brilliant run made from Cavani. Goes for goal and he smashes the crossbar again. I give up. This guy would have had such good goals and absolute belters if he just didn't keep hitting the crossbar. But there, I decided to go for placement over power after a good turn. And he's able to just place that finish shot into the back of the net. But here showcasing the penalties on the car, he's got 99 penalties. And while clearly it shows smashed into the top corner, keeper stands absolutely no chance. But like I was saying, this guy's weak foot does feel like a 5 star weak foot. But enough of that, here the best goal of this video. Ridiculous. Absolutely sensational. From Edison Cavani, good speed to get past the first player. Rainbow Flick just to pop it up for the volley basically. And at the end of it, the volley is just world class. Here, great physicality, good strength, and this guy just slide tackles Alexander Arnold with pity. He gets the red card, he pauses, and he does end up quitting as well. So, with that being said, it is time now to review this 96 rated premium level up Anderson Cavani card. And in four games, he has managed 10 goals and two assists, which, after some quick maths, works out to 12 goal contributions. In four games or so three goal contributions per game is genuinely sensational especially in qualifiers which seems to be a little sweaty as of right now for some reason i have no idea why it usually is a lot easier but i won't lie i kind of struggled against those players that i did play against and we did actually end up only losing one of the games but that's not the point those guys were good players and he did end up getting a pretty good goal return well pretty good is an understatement a very good goal return which is Honestly surprising because this card is pretty much an objective card but anyway heading on to the after details pace is phenomenal especially when running in behind now you could make this card a lot quicker he does feel a bit sluggish which is what you'd expect from Edison Cavani a bit slow to get going but once he's pretty much gotten going he can shoot from anywhere and find the back of the net as he did from the volley as he almost did from the power shot in the first game so genuinely long shots are sensational so acceleration isn't really a problem just get the ball of this guy and shoot if you want him to be as dribbly and nimble as possible then go for the engine cam style so it does i think max out the sprint speed boost the acceleration into the 90s and improve agility and balance as well and the dribbling too if i'm not mistaken that will make him feel as fun as possible but if you want the full Edison Cavani effect I think the Marksman Camp style is the way to go because it does boost the strength he's able to hold players off and he's able to just shoot from pretty much anywhere especially with the long shot boost of 8 you can pretty much just shoot from anywhere with this guy with the Marksman Camp style and he will find the back of the net so the shooting on the card is phenomenal pace does depend on the camp style you're using but I think it is more than good enough because you don't expect Cavani to be that quick fast striker how he is now with the Master McKenna style I feel is perfect because the shooting is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and give him actually for the pace a 9.2 out of 10. Shooting does get a 9.9 out of 10. I think it's on par with the likes of team of the season Lewandowski. It is sensational. Passing gets a 9 out of 10. He can create chances for teammates. Make those long passes and short passes and connect the play. Dribbling. It is very good with the ancient camp style it will be better but he does have five star skills and the marksman camp style does kind of help as well so dribbling gets a 9.5 out of 10. now the physical is sensational boosting the strength is very important that does get a plus eight as well and you can feel it in game because he can really hold off players and he can win the headers against a lot of cards as well so physical does get a 9 out of 10. now when it comes down to the best position I think striker is the way to go with the marksman cam style. I've spoken about cam styles enough. You can play a cam if you really, really have to. But if you are playing him there, I do think the catalyst cam style would be the way to go. Now, is this card worth the grind? Is he worth the coins in the first place? Yes. Do I think that 94 rated card is good enough to start in your team? Yes. And he can definitely shoot from outside the box. And this card is pretty much very easily attainable. You can very easily get this card. Just go to squad battles, like I said at the start of the video, go to squad battles, take shots from outside the box with the 94 rated card and he will end up scoring a lot of goals because the shooting on that card is solid enough and once you get this card, he is insane, he is a beast, he is a machine and I 100% recommend you doing this objective. So with that being said, I do bring an end to this video. If you like to smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.